For the past couple of years, LG has usually announced its flagships at the MWC trade show in Barcelona, normally on the day before the event kicks off. This year, MWC starts on February 26, so our initial guess was that the LG G7 was probably scheduled for a February 25th announcement, which would fall in line with the announcement of the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. However, as you might have heard, LG has revealed that it won't be necessarily releasing its next flagship at MWC 2018. This sudden change of heart is mostly likely due to the internal company revamps that took place late in 2017. LG's new VP and CEO Jo Sung Jin has reportedly ordered the company's mobile division to start work on its upcoming flagship device from scratch, citing an anonymous LG official. Following C's 2018 the team responsible for the development of the upcoming flagship device which might not be called the G7 after all has been instructed to cease the development and review the project from the ground up. The company's philosophy under the new leadership is to reportedly do phone announced when the time is right and not rush to compete with Samsung and the other big boys of Android. Although this seems like a pretty dire decision. It could very well be what's necessary to stop LG's mobile division from spilling red ink. This was corroborated by recent leaks, too, which claim that the successor to the LG G7 is well on its way but will be postponed and revealed when the time is right. As far as pricing goes, we expect to see the LG G7 priced anywhere between $700. $800. The LG G6 had a $699 price tag at launch but quickly lost a ton of its value due to one reason or another, so the absolute bare minimum that the LG G7 is going to be priced is, logically, $699. There's no way LG is pricing its next flagship any lower given that that and yet it could still command a rather stomachable price tag for the hardware you will get. Finally, a release date for the LG G7 should be anywhere in the March to April time window, with South Korea naturally getting it first and the rest of the key global markets following suit.